Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Do you have supernatural powers? Like, do you do juju? What sort of question is that? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you click on this video, I'll assume you have seen the movie Ken and Kate from Uche Mabo Nabo TV. Because in this video, I'll be reviewing the movie and also rating Clayton Joshua's performance on this movie. So if you are here to subscribe to my channel, kindly hit on the red subscribe button and hit on the bell icon for notifications. This is Clayton Joshua's third movie, so I want to talk about his character on this movie and his acting performance because he played a different role on this movie. Guys, I rarely watch movies, that is why I don't do reviews on my channel. But last night, I had to create time to watch this movie because I have been anticipating this particular movie for a while now. First of all, I will say the storyline, it was okay. I really like the storyline. It's something different, yes. The acting of Flitting Joshua, known as Ken in the movie, guys when i was saying that this guy can act act you all thought i was joking right i literally created time to see this movie and clayton joshua did not disappoint me at all with the same body where you talk to you give only me only me that same body you use it because i'm grind on top of they do darling mm -hmm. Darling, you are said Clayton don't laugh, he doesn't laugh, he used to frown his face because of the movie he acted, um, the way he bodied the role he played on when angels meet. But then, in this movie, not only did he smile, he laughed and also he made us laugh. I laughed so hard there. Eh? I know he's a good actor, but I didn't know that he can be so funny, and the acting was 1000 percent. I give it to him. Clayton is good, I beg. I wasn't even expecting this funny part of him at all, but I love his acting so, so much. He doesn't look forced at all. He was never out of character. Everything was so natural. I, I really, really enjoyed this movie. And I can't wait to see more and more movies from him, honestly. He tried another role in this movie and he hates it, honestly. The lead actress, Nancy, also, she tried, she tried. You know, you guys, you hate criticism now. If I say what I did not like, man, you will come to my comment section and start talking anyhow. But constructive criticism is good. Even the entertainers, they like it. So yes, I will speak on it. Make we not lie, I beg. Make we talk small truths. This Kate character, she no sabi like that, I beg. Her diction was too limited. She sounded as if she was struggling with English language. I felt like she didn't portray that trauma part very well at all. She couldn't express her emotional scenes very well. That caused her trauma to be less believable. I wanted to feel her sadness, her pain. I wanted to cry when she was crying with those flashbacks. But that never happened at all. In fact, I was skipping most of those parts too because they look like fillers to me. It was just like, I just felt like maybe they are using those parts to fill the movie because I wasn't feeling her emotions at all. She didn't portray those traumas very well. The little girl had small appearance, but she did so very, very well. That little kid, she tried, the girl tried. The storyline was good, but I felt like it would have been better off as a series. So it would look like the movie is rushed, you know? Like the part she didn't read the love letter, I really wanted to hear what Ken wrote to her on that letter. I would have loved to see the connection being built up Why Kate and Ken were working on that project together. I don't know, the chemistry just seemed rushed and unrealistic to me. I would have loved to know the topic of their project too and also watch their defense in class. So all this would have happened if they did this as a series like a part 1 and 2 or season 1, season 2. Yes, everything would have happened but it's like they just rush everything and put it on one this thing. But it's still okay, I still love it. On a lighter note, Ken said he was bullying Kate and Kate even said that you have been bullying me at first but 
To me, oh, it was Kate that was even bullying Ken. No, I was so so angry at her, and she even slapped Ken. That part, and that slap entered me. I also felt bad when Kate left the scene after Ken was picked as their group leader, and he was trying to address them. Mm. I would have loved it if she at least showed more love to Ken. The rejection was too much. I beg. I was angry at some point. <laughs> Overall, I really had fun watching the movie. Clinton Joshua, superb. He has a strong screen present. He knows how to express his emotion through his eyes. And I strongly believe he is meant for romance movies because he's able to portray his emotions so, so expressively. His body language, when he's doing the emotional scenes, is always on point, and you can always feel it. Like, I always feel his emotional scenes, so honestly. Kate's friend, 100%, she ate her role, she finished everything, she did so well with her part. Then came two friends, those guys, they ate their role. In fact, I was very happy when I saw them because they are known face, so I know they were going to act very well, and they did. They carried their part very well, they were perfect on their part. On a more serious note, child trauma in the form of molestation is so real. A lot of time, it is done by those closest to you because they have easy access to you. I pray anyone that has gone through this, that this has happened to, that God heals their pain. And parents, please pay attention to your children. Give them listening in yes too. Please listen to your children. Anyway guys, I rate Clinton Joshua's acting on this movie 10 over 10 minus nothing. And producer, please allow Clinton Joshua to kiss for us now. I can't believe I was expecting to see a kissing scene. And this is what I got. A peg on her head or more that place. And I was so so angry. I what is going on? People should allow him now. Okay, tell him to do it with the fans. I want to see him, I want to see him in action. I want to see the way he will kiss in the movie. So, guys, let me know your own opinion about this movie in the comment section because your opinion is also important. Action. Look, visit Victoria and her friends. Her hey. friends. Let's go. Your mind. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You mean my Victoria? Tell me. Her friends are for her friends are for us, bro. Her friends are for all. Her for my boss. My boss wants to. I don't know. Run like the Faji, huh? Right. Tell me that should not be well, party. Okay. Tell me who the Jones for this Faji town. You want party, one Faji with the hustlers. Uh -huh. Ask for me, and I tell the man to get money. Uh -huh. Oh, my child, be a guy for the kid. Oh, you come out go gym, I go lift weights. Oh, you come out go gym, I go change weights. I go put them at ten gates. Let go, let go, let go. I just want to put up for me. Up put down. Nah, make me not put down. Nah, open second, second, go to. Nah, wow. Up put, up put, up put. Ah, make me look out. We go. We don't allow. If you look at mommy, I your face. <laughs>